Hey everybody, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and it's time for another haul today, and it's just not food. So if you're interested, stick around. We're going to get started. As you can see, I have quite a variety of things that I purchased and I purchased them from different places. We made another trip to um, the town that we go to that's like an hour away where we can actually go to some regular type box stores where stuff is cheaper. So I'm going to get started right over here and I separated things by receipt so I remember where they're from. So this came from Walmart um, and I was able to get these erasers for 47 cents for the pack. Um, Hope needs new erasers. We're like down to none for homeschool. And I also picked up this L'Oreal Paris Ferrier that I used to dye my hair and it was $10.97 and it's a lot cheaper than going to the salon and having somebody else do your hair. So yes, I do my own. Um, the next place I went to was Big Lots and I was able to grab this um, pack of Elmer's glue, glue sticks for $2.27 um, for the six pack. Also grabbed some more sparkling ice these were cheaper than where I had been getting it. These were 95 cents a piece. So Hope got two of the orange mango and two of the classic lemonade. And also we picked up the family size Cheez-Its and they were $5.49 for those. So the next thing that I grabbed um, is from Dollar General. And I grabbed this Lysol laundry sanitizer and we started using this, I don't know, a few months ago. I don't know. Is it helping? I don't know. And that was $7.35 for this. And then I also grabbed the All Free and Clear. That was $8.50 for that. And that one does 58 loads. And actually, it was my daughter that told me about this. Um, she runs a daycare and she said it has really helped by sanitizing the clothes when she does laundry. We will see. So the next place that we went was Ollie's. Um, and this I just thought was so fun. It reminded me of my dad. So I had to get it. It's not a necessity, obviously, but it's a pot holder. Is this not so cute? And it was $5.99 their price, normally $14.99. So I just had to get it. Something that made me smile that'll have in my house. Just super fun. So the next things that I grabbed from Ollie's, and these are not even for me. I got five containers of the original potato sticks. My dad loves potato sticks. And they were $1.99 a piece. Um, we can't find them anywhere around here. So I grabbed him some more. I had grabbed him some the last time as well. And then I also grabbed these Campbell's Double Noodle um, Individual Soups. They were 79 cents a piece. And I got four of those. I also grabbed some Hershey Cocoa. I thought this was a pretty good deal. $2.99. It says you know, their price $3.29. But I can tell you in our store here... I've seen it for like $5, so I thought this was a good deal. Yes, we're small town living, so stuff is more expensive anyway. And then I grabbed some Febreze, and that was $2.29, and they said their price is $2.94. Um, I also grabbed a great big container of the Tresemme conditioner for Hope. We go through lots of conditioner because there's times that I just co-wash her hair and I don't always use shampoo because it dries it out terribly. And what was the price on this? It was $3.29. And this is huge. It's 32 ounce bottle. So that is awesome. It says four ounces free. I don't know about that. And then I grabbed myself some Pantene Color Radiant, Radiant Color Shine um, Conditioner. That was $4.99, their price $6.97. And I can tell you that it's like closer to nine or 10 locally for me. It's ridiculous, the difference. And then I also got the shampoo and that was $4.99 as well. So then we went to our local Kinney's 
um, I wanted to get some more bottled water. And so these are the smaller ones. They didn't have any bigger bottles of water, which is kind of strange. And so I was able to get the water for $3 and 18 cents. Um, I think there's like 24 of them in here. Yeah, there's 24 in here. Um, and then we have to pay deposit on top of that. And then I also picked up some children's Advil and I got those on sale for $5.59 a piece. Um, yeah, apparently, <laughs> and I saw this when I went into a lot of the different stores, there's like a shortage of this. And I had heard that they're having problems in Canada, even getting children's pain reliever at all. I don't, yeah. Anyways, craziness of our world. Let's move on. And then I also had to go to PetSmart. Um, so I can get this cat food locally and the bag is about half of this size. Um, let me show you. This is a good size bag. This bag is seven pounds. And I want to say the bag I can get here is three pounds. And I usually pay $17 for a three pound bag. I was able to get this on sale for $25.70 for seven pounds. And this will last a long time. I mean, you know, a kitten only eats so much at a time. Then I also was able to grab the Blue Wilderness kitten food that she eats that I mix with the medication that she takes for $9.04. And that is quite a bit cheaper as well. It's at least, you know, anywhere between $10 and $11 here. And the last thing that I grabbed, let me get this bag out of the way, is the Kitten Attract Litter for Cats. Um, and I could tell a whole story about when we first got our kitten. She was not litter trained at all. I'd never seen anything like it. Um, and I tried everything and I was to the point with the breeder, like, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. This did the trick. If you have a cat that is not, or refusing to use a litter box, I highly recommend this cat litter. And so the cat litter was $15.23 for that. And we can't get this where we live. So I need to go, you know, and specifically go get this every time we There's need it. There's our haul. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now for us, it was worth the trip because we saved significantly on some things for us actually to make the trip and to go there and do those things. And then we also try to make it fun. We take hope to the park or whatever that they have there. So God bless, take care, and I'll talk to you in the next one.